Welcome to Ad Man, Mad Man. I'm Brian Babylon, your host of this program on Facebook Live, where we dissect and unpack advertising and how to sell products to different consumers or how advertisers are tricking us or getting to the inner person of who we are to make us buy things or products. Uh, in the style of my good friend Don Draper, it's sort of a time to relax on a Friday and talk about ads. Cheers to you on this great Friday. Well, you guys can hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Brian Babylon. That's where I'm at. And let's get started. Today, as you saw in the title, we're going to be talking about how to sell products to white women. And in the, I guess, I don't know, notes of this show, I said you have to use a train. And don't let your mind drift into the gutter of some type of three-way in Monte Carlo. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about a train sexually. I'm talking about a choo-choo train. And the first ad we're gonna talk about is Subaru. So clearly it's a certain type of white woman. And if you look in this ad, this is a white girl on the train and What's important, if you look at the beginning, you started off with having her make herself a pioneer in America. This is your country. This is you doing your thing your way. And it's this young lady, and she's on a boxcar train, old school hobo style. And it's sort of a way to tap into their white privilege. You have the white privilege where you can opt and if you would like to, be a hobo. You could be a hobo if you want to. You could, you could take a couple of months off, hop on a hobo train, and live your life. And that's what they're tapping into right here. So she's on a train, and of course she has her favorite things, her dog. White girls love dogs. And she's married. Look at that. She's married. And of course, there's the product, the Subaru and a bike. Who's driving that Subaru on your life journey? Hmm, I wonder who. There he is, sex sales. A nice, soft, beta male white guy. Sort of like horrible Jim Halpert. A sweet guy who doesn't like football. He just wants to listen to you and drive around in a Subaru and ride bikes. That's what he's into. And then you hear, you see the trifecta, they're together. She sees herself as this hobo, living this life with her man and the dog. They're doing it. He's listening and talking about Infinite Jess, the book of essays. And she's like, you know what? I wanna do the ultimate white thing. I wanna live my life the way I want to and take this journey, what? off-road now think to yourself how many times have you had a four-wheel drive if for those people who have trucks how many times have you actually taken your truck off-road that's the question hit us up on Facebook we get another incident where trains and this was during the Super Bowl where trains made a very, 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 very uh, big splash. And this is, this is even more hilarious. And this is showing you, if you don't have your life together, eh, they're not really talking to you. All right, here we go. This next product, and of course, you're watching The Ad Man with Brian Babylon on The Ad Man Infused with the madman, that's me. Facebook Live, you can hit us up. Hey, thanks for listening and watching Big Boots. We got Jennifer Novak from New York City. We got AJ Lubecker, my baby boy, Summer Neville, and of course, the great Amy Dickinson. You like what's going on here, I know you do. So over the Super Bowl, I saw this ad where another train makes an appearance, and it's a train of a life. So this is Expedia, and this, we're on the trains of Siberian Valley, and it's this 
beautiful ginger white chick and she's listening to this very eloquently British spoke racially ambiguous guy. Now, this is very important. In the 80s or the 90s or the 70s, that would have been a wise old black person like the help who tells you about life and then you become a better person. Expedia went the next step. They took a racially ambiguous, what is this guy? What is that? Is he a Sherpa? Is he Indian? Is he, what is that? But he spoke, if you go back to this ad, he spoke the most beautiful downtown Abbey English and she heard every word. And that moment, where he gave her these brilliant words that I'm speaking to you from my brilliant, beautiful tongue and I have, do you see where this guy looked? Look at that guy. He might, look at this guy. He might know magic. He might know magic. Look at that. So she gets this message and she's like, hmm, that makes me think about my life and what I'm doing. And this ad is about a minute of this female's life where she is not working a job. She's not working the third shift at Arby's or Waffle House or some horrible sales job. She's out living the world. She's on a boat, hair done and very not dirty. I can tell white people dirty hair, doesn't have it. She's in Asia, she's having a good time. And then we flip to where sex sales. And I think I missed that clip, but there's another clip of her wanting to go save people. She, she's like a goody two shoes. So look, her lips were quivering. Can you please run that back? Look at how her lips were quivering. And this is the person that we're, that we're trying to reach. She's helping people out, doing her thing, right? Protesting. She probably has paper mache vaginas that she made at a women's rally. She's that, she's living her whole life, eat, pray, love. She's getting older as you see this ad unfold. And then, and then what you see after that, what you see after that is very important. Um, because I missed one clip that was actually hilarious. Is it this one? Where she's, yeah, here's a sex sale. So she's in Asia, she kisses an Asian dude. Pff, that's exotic as fuck right? Living life. She's more, you know, she's doing more things, living life. She's meeting with friends. Here's another sex moment where sex sells, where she sees, of course, a sexy soldier thinks about things. Look at this. Look, oh, I'm going to fuck this guy. Yep. Living life. So you have your sexual elements in that. Everything is just hit. And then last but not least, how do we sell it? You can only do this by getting on a train, traveling the world, not having a job, because we haven't seen her work. She's an older woman now, and now she's the one paying forward. And look who she's talking to, Asian dude. And then the tagline of that whole thing, the tagline of that whole, whole ad, and this is like a dream for this type of individual is I'm giving you my wisdom, I'm paying for it. I did my white guilt duty because there's only one way to travel, my friends. There's only one real way to travel. And look at the look in her face. And the tagline is very, very important in this. And we're just talking shop. Travel the world better. Travel the world better. That means Cabo. Who's doing that? Who's going to Cabo? Who's going to Cancun? Who's going to Vegas? You're wasting your travel. You're not making the world a better place. Hit us up on Facebook. Who else do we have in here? Uh, thank you so much. This is an experiment that we're doing um, with these little Facebook live shows. It's pretty fun. Uh, of course, the sponsor of this program, and, and she, would be, she would be mad if I didn't do it, is my co-host, Molly Adams, we have a podcast called Old Black Magic and the Millennial Podcast on episode four. Uh, it's pretty funny and smart and sensational. 
and ridiculous. I do it with Molly Adams. Go to brianandmollypodcast.com to check that out. I think um, we're done with this. Hold on, where's the beat? There it is. There's the beat. Brian Babylon on the beats because Facebook takes videos down if you use other people's music. This has been The Ad Man with Brian Babylon on Facebook Live making content. Adios. Thank you. Thank you.